Hello folks, this is Nitin welcoming you to the AI University channel where you can learn all your favorite digital technologies like machine learning, deep learning, AI, big data Hadoop, virtual reality and cloud computing. This video and a second part of this uh, topic is uh, going to be very useful for budding data scientists or data analysts who wants to explore, scale up and develop machine learning abilities or wants to perform some data analysis using distributed computing framework uh, like Spark and you know that too in Jupyter Notebooks. In this video, I'm going to take a step-by-step -step approach to explain to you how to install PySpark on your Windows machine so that you can run Spark related commands or jobs on Jupyter Notebook in an interactive way just like you run Python specific commands. You will be uh, able to develop machine learning models with the help of Spark MLlib and you know using Jupyter Notebook and uh, this is something which I'm going to cover in my upcoming videos. I'm talking about uh, the Spark MLlib uh, uh, topic okay. So going to build certain uh, machine learning models in Spark MLlib. Please note that this video will cover three steps of PySpark installation for Jupyter Notebook and remaining three steps will be covered in the next or uh, part two of this topic. So stay connected till the end of this video and this series to acquire complete knowledge. If you are new here, then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. So what is a, a Spark? Well, Apache Spark is a distributed or parallel computing framework which provides an ability to perform in-memory computations with minimum latency. It's an analytical engine uh, which can load data from memory, disk or other uh, data storages like Hadoop distributed uh, file system, Amazon, Amazon S3, NoSQL databases like MongoDB, Cassandra, etc. So let me move on to the number one step, uh, which is to install and set up PySpark on Windows in order to run the Apache Spark specific commands or jobs on Jupyter Notebook. Uh, so we need to install the Anaconda distribution for that purpose first. Okay. So Anaconda is a Python and R based distribution, which is used for scientific computing, data science, statistical analysis and machine learning. It comes with a large set of Python uh, libraries and package management tool uh, like Conda and uh, it supports uh, Python 2.7 that is version 2.7, version 3.4, 3.5 and 3.6. So you can visit this Anaconda website link uh, shown here okay uh, in order to download and install Anaconda in a step by step manner. The steps are pretty much self-explanatory and easy to understand. Okay, so you can see that these steps are listed down here. Okay, and uh, these steps like number one, download the Anaconda installer. Uh, then number two is optional, right? So these all steps are pretty much self-explanatory and you can actually go through all these steps uh, one by one to install the Anaconda on your system or machine. So I have already installed it on my system and uh, the navigation window looks uh, something like this. Okay, uh, something like this. So once you complete the installation, uh, you will be able to uh, open this particular Anaconda navigator screen. So you can see uh, that uh, it provides several editors like Jupyter, right? Spider, Visual Studio Code, R Studio to uh, you know uh, develop uh, certain code in R, whereas uh, you can uh, utilize Jupyter, Spider, and VS Code to you know uh, uh, build uh, a Python related applications. On the left hand side, uh, there are uh, uh, you know several options like Environment tab, uh, you know which you can basically use uh, to create a separate environment for each of your uh, applications. So that, uh, you know, set of libraries or packages, etc. associated with those application cannot be interfered with each other. Okay, so let us say if you are building two separate applications, so you can build uh, two separate environments 
and uh, you can install a separate set of libraries for those two uh, applications because uh, obviously applications might be different so the package of libraries will also be different and you can you know keep uh, these two application environments separate from each other uh, then we have a learning tab okay uh, which provides an exhaustive list of documentation for major uh, libraries of R and Python so in you know you can see that uh, these are the separate tabs and you can uh, read the reference material for pandas for numpy and then we have matplotlib related documentation also as well as for bouquet uh, visualization related uh, uh, documentation python tutorial documentation is also there so so and so forth so you can basically see that there are 21 documentation one training 20 videos okay so you can utilize all this uh, material to uh, gain some knowledge right then we have uh, you know community tab here uh, uh, you and you can find the list of you know major conferences and advancement in these technologies so if any conference is happening like uh, anaconda con 2019 you will get some information related to it here then there is a strata data conference new york from september 23 to 26 so you can get uh, all the community related uh, details or the conferences related details in this particular tab okay so once this is done then we will move on to uh, step two where we install the java version 8 if the same is not installed on your machine so you can uh, basically check if the java is installed on your machine or not by typing the command uh, i will type that command uh, but first of all you need to open the anaconda prompt okay so let's open the anaconda prompt once so this is the anaconda prompt uh, which comes with this anaconda navigator or uh, you know distribution when you install uh, it on your machine so you can type the command like uh, java hyphen version okay and press enter and uh, you will see a message something like this the java version 1.8.0 underscore 221 okay so you should be able to get the result something like this if you don't get this kind of result uh, then it means you need to install java on your machine on which uh, you know um, uh, and which you can actually do uh, by uh, going on the oracle website link okay so one, one thing to note here that i will be sharing all these important links in the description section so you can just copy paste from there okay so this will be the website link from where you can uh, download and install the java so you can choose any uh, you know suitable uh, distribution or dot uh, exe file which is suitable for your system okay so since uh, we are working on windows so you can uh, choose any particular distribution be, be this one or uh, windows x64 and you can uh, basically download uh, the corresponding uh, e exe file from here okay which is suitable for your system and you need to accept the oracle uh, license agreement before you download any java J jdk version 8 okay since i have already installed it on my system so i refrain from uh, downloading it or installing it once again okay but in your case once you download you can then run the executable or dot exe file okay uh, uh, file and by default java will be installed in the c drive location uh, shown here so this is the c drive location program files slash java where uh, most of the time your uh, uh, java gets installed okay so we can see that uh, the uh, java uh, jdk 1.8.0 underscore 121 folder is created here okay now we need to add the environment variables called java underscore home uh, by providing this directory path this complete directory path okay till this point uh, and we can add it by first uh, searching so let me open the environment variable so you can type environment in the search bar 
and you will be provided with an option edit the system environment variable just click on that and then you need to click on environment variables and in the system variable uh, section click on new right here we need to provide the variable name as java underscore home all in capital letters and you need to copy this uh, path the java directory path and paste it here so c slash program file slash java slash the jdk version number of your folder okay uh, once you do that just click on ok all right and it the uh, environment variable path will be uh, set here since i have already done that so i'm not doing it as you can see here so java home i have already set it up here now come to user variable section here because you need to add the path variable as well okay so come to this user variable section and set the fully qualified directory path of your uh, java directory bin folder here okay as you can see this is the variable i'm talking about so just click on new mention path here okay and uh, provide the path till here till bin directory folder so one level down uh, till bin folder you need to just copy this path and provide it here the variable value and click ok so by doing this you just set your environment variable as well as path variable all right and once you do that just click on ok and perfect so then your uh, java is installed and uh, all the environment uh, variables are set here so moving on to the third step where we will uh, download and install spark from the apache spark website uh, shown here now select the version so uh, by default the latest version provided is uh, 2.4.4 which is a stable version as mentioned here but you can select any other version from this drop down just like here it is mentioned 2.3.4 so you can select that version as well once you do that uh, you will be provided with a download uh, spark link as shown here okay so you need to click on this link so this is a tar file uh, which we need to download first and once you download then you need to extract this file to your desired directory location okay you can uh, extract it uh, using uh, you know 7-zip file manager software so this is the software 7-zip file manager using which you can unzip this tar file so let's say you extracted it to your c drive so as you can see uh, i actually uh, you know extracted to my c drive and the version is spark version is 2.3.1 bin a hyphen uh, hadoop dot 2.7 okay so i extracted the entire content of this tar file in my c drive here right now once this task is done you then need to set the environment variable as well as path variable just like i i explained in the case of java installation so i explained earlier the setting the path variable and environment variable for java so similar on the similar lines you need to uh, set the variables here as well all you need to do is to set up the spark underscore home and hadoop underscore home variables as well as the path environment variables just like shown on the screen so folks this is it for this video to conclude i covered three steps to install pyspark on uh, windows machines for running commands and jobs related to spark on uh, jupyter notebooks uh, remaining three steps will be covered in the next video so stay tuned so let me ask you a question from today's video what is the command to uh, check the java version please post your comments in the comment section given below so that i can get a chance to incorporate your feedback you can also post your technical questions in the comment section and I will uh, try to answer the same. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. And in case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. 
सो थैंक्स फॉर हैंगिंग आउट विद मी गाइज आई विल बी कवरिंग नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इन द अपकमिंग वीडियोज़ एंड द रिमेनिंग स्टेप्स इन फैक्ट इन द अपकमिंग वीडियो सो कीप ऑन वॉचिंग थैंक यू